Hi guys, it's me, Kat. This is Handy Are You. Hope you're all doing really well today. I know it's been a while since I've been on. Sorry about that. But I had to come on for this uh, Baltimore Bridge Collapse, the Key Bridge. And I want, I bet a lot of you are wondering, I should say, what's going on. So we'll try to figure it out together. <laughs> um, okay, so my friend Lisa D, who does videos with me sometimes, she recommended that I figure out if there were children on the ship that hit, hit this bridge in Baltimore. Sorry, my phone looks crooked. Yeah. Well, I don't know if I can fix it. Well, it might have to stay crooked. I don't want to drop the phone. So, anyway. So, I decided to try We're Children on the Dolly. And that's, I think I'm saying it right, but who knows. It's D-A-L-I. I thought it was interesting that it was named Dolly because it sounds like, you know, a doll that a little girl would hold. You know, like a baby doll. So that made me wonder. Um, and I'm doing gematria, which is Bible decoding, and it's A equals 1 through Z equals 26. And um, anyway, in Jewish gematria, it's 1396. So we're children on the Dali, is what, was what I was wondering. Save the children mission matches. So that was uh, a big deal. And John and John, so like John two times. But as you probably know, if you've been watching, I don't think of it as John John, uh, John Jr.'s nickname when he was a little kid. Uh, I think of it as the two Johns, President Kennedy and John J Jr., JFK, JR. So anyway, so that matches. So that's interesting, right? And uh, in simple dramatria, it's uh, were there children on the dolly. It equals a Q post. There are no coincidences. And uh, if you remember, I, as I always use notes, I'm not trying to hide them. <laughs> um, let's see, remember the ship Evergrande? And it, do you remember, I, I think it was, I don't know, where was it? In the Gulf over, in the is it the Arabian Gulf? I'm not sure. And the ship was being manipulated from outside. It was near a port, and it made a, a shape out in the Gulf. And if you looked at the mapping of it after it was all done, it looked like a, a body part. Let's just put it like that, a body part. And it wasn't a woman's body part. So, and, uh, so somebody had a good time with that. And from what I understand, I mean, I don't know 100% or anything, there were little ones on board and maybe that's why they had pulled it aside I mean I'm, I'm sure that was going on a lot and we never saw it right I mean I'm sure it was happening constantly so so this this ship the dolly could have been controlled the same way you know it, it could have been moved so that it that happened um, and I don't think the bridge would have, but you know, I don't know. What, you, what do you guys think? Could the bridge have fallen like that, um, you know, so easily from a ship hitting it? I guess it depends on how fast it was going. I don't know anything about physics or anything like that, obviously. But I just wonder, let me know what you think down in the comments. You can just pause the video and make a comment, you know, that would, that would be nice to know what you guys think. Um, it, it, so anyway, uh, in Simple Gematria, were there children on the dolly? It's John Kennedy Jr. Okay, so to me that kind of is leaning towards a, a yes, that, that there was. Um, let's see. So the name of the bridge is Francis Scott Key Bridge. And it, there's a shorter name, but I went with the full name first. Think Outside the Box was matched in Simple and Jewish. And that's a big deal when they match both, in, in, just in my opinion. Um, yeah, so put your thinking caps on. <laughs> Not your tinfoil hats, your thinking caps. <laughs> and think outside the box, like what was really going on. 
so another Jewish match, 1090, was walkie-talkie. And likely they used walkie-talkies. You know, the, it's probably military op, or, I mean, it was at least a white hat op. And, you know, they were using it to control traffic. So it, first I heard it was at one in, one in the morning, like this morning, you know, early morning today, which is Tuesday the 26th. Um, so they probably... You know, it was a it was a quiet time of night for crossing the bridge, and they probably just talked to each other, and they they stopped traffic. You know, when it was going to happen, and I was just saying to Lisa Day again, uh, you know, where the good guys have control of the media, you know, like all the news and everything, and it and they really do. If if you do some coding on it, they really do, um, and. Uh, you know, they have control over the newspapers and they're not going to let somebody who is like, say, say there was somebody trying to cross the bridge uh, early this morning and somebody was there like, you know, making them go off on a detour. The newspaper isn't going to let them, you know, the newspaper isn't going to let them get that news out. You know what I mean? Like, they can't call the paper and say, wait a minute, I was turned away from going across the bridge just before this happened. You know, that that's not going to get out there because nobody, or the good guys wouldn't want that to get out there, that they were turning people away. Because I think that's why walkie-talkie is in here. Um, and it says, we tried to tell you, which is funny, and how far would you go, like, across the bridge, you know? These guys have a sense of humor. They really do. Even though I was doing something serious on that, you know, question. So, anyway. So, I looked up an article from the Baltimore Sun. Now, I thought that was cool because their big newspaper down there would be, you know, got sun in its name. And we're waiting for that huge eclipse with the comet, right? Um... So I wonder if that has anything to do with it, just to get the, the sun in people's heads, you know, like the, it's all subliminal, you, you know, it's all subliminal, uh, all these little things, these little things will all come back and people will remember, you know, subliminally, I, I can't even say that, different things that were popping up like the Baltimore sun and that kind of thing. Uh, so the title of the article that I worked on was Key Bridge Collapses into mm, Patapsco, yeah, Patapsco or Patapsco River in Baltimore after vessel hits support column, state of emergency declared. So that was in online today. So I was just telling Lisa, I don't know, I, I just, hi Lisa. <laughs> I was just telling Lisa that if you're ever concerned about something that you read online or you see on TV, on the news or something, the news, um, if you're concerned about it, and especially online, look at the um, author of the article. There's usually more than one lately, especially. Like a, I was reading one and it had four authors. And a lot of times they have kind of off the wall names. And it's almost a sure sign that it's a white hat person writing it you, you know it it just is so and I told her that before I worked on this article because she's the one that sent me the link to you know investigate the um the ship and the bridge and everything so okay so this article was by Hayes H-A-Y-E-S Gardner G-A-R-D-N-E-R and Christine Condon Okay, so Hayes Gardner <laughs> in Jewish Demetria is 721 and it equals continues to lie. Yeah, so Hayes Gardner, that's what it says about, you know, him. And Hayes Gardner in simple is 125 and it's John Kennedy. I mean, I didn't know that when I picked this article. <laughs> and it equals... 125 is submersible, you know, oh my gosh, they're hysterical. These guys are hysterical. Um, then we have the woman that co-wrote the article, and it's Christine Condon, and you can see Christ in that name, 
and you can see con. So, like a Christ con, and you know what I'm always saying about the cross and everything. It didn't happen. Or at least they were, you know, up there, but then got taken down, maybe. that That's more like what I think happened. Um, so, Christine Condon is Jewish 531, and it equals hidden gematria message, decode information, like in the article, you know, no more tears, like don't cry about it. Lord, do I see dead people? No, we're not going to see dead people. The shape of water, <laughs> safe and sound. Nobody got hurt. Nobody's missing. Okay, the nickname for that bridge is Key Bridge. And uh, let's see. In, in Jewish Gematria, it's 522. It equals second sun. And I really do think, if, if you saw that little blurb I put out recently, I really think there's a second sun. And we're going to see it during the eclipse. Now, I thought possibly there could be two eclipses. I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe there's like going to be an eclipse and then over there and then you see the real sun way over there. Maybe that's what's going to happen. So that's going to be awesome. Whatever is going on. Something big's going on. And I have uh, another video I'll do about that soon. Um, okay. So Key Bridge is second sun and Pons, P-O-N-S, Brooks. And that's part of the name of the comet. So we're getting, like, it's like they're, they're pointing us towards the eclipse on April 8th for 8. Um, and I talked a little bit about all that on Tom, very nicely had me on, Tom Numbers, on his show it, it, with Matt Geiger. And that was really fun. And I talked a little bit about uh, two sons and stuff. And I think I kind of surprised them, you know, with my weird theories. So that was that was fun, but you know, I think they both said, "Well, you never know," and the, that's true. You just don't know anymore. Uh, let's see. So Key Bridge also equals hidden and protected. No one died. TikTok. Okay, now I'm on Simple Gematria 86, and Key Bridge is TikTok, like they're counting down, warning, like they're keeping people off the bridge. Here we go. And then waters, sea breeze, you know, wind off the, off the water, and fantasy. So then a couple more matches to Key Bridge is Johnny and Black Swan, like a Black Swan event. So nobody was on the bridge. This, this, that wasn't, that didn't happen. But it shows you how, you know, when the bad guys had control over the media, they could tell you anything they wanted. Well, the good guys have control over the media, and they can tell the people anything they want. So, I also think that they had this big uh, bridge event happen because um, it's going to, like, in the back of your mind, it, it, always, it would make me think of the Golden Gate Bridge. It just does. And I know it's iconic and everything, but... I thought it was going to look like it went down, like during all the apocalyptic movie stuff that we'll be seeing, you know, when it looks like the world is ending. But maybe it really will go down and they'll keep people off the bridge the same way. I, don't, I mean, I don't know. So, okay. So these uh, phrases were highlighted in the Baltimore Sun article. You know, like they were completely a different color. They weren't just underlined, but I mean, sometimes articles do that. They underline things, but that's the part to pay attention to. Collapsed early Tuesday. That was highlighted. And in simple, it's 243. And um, it equals Gematrix. Now, I always say dot org because there's a dot in there, but it's Gematrix org calculator. <laughs> so that's what that equals. Can you handle the truth? key to escape the matrix like this i think this is just the beginning of some really really big stuff oh and another thing before i go on with that uh the big um ncaa tournament basketball tournament is going on and mr handy used to love that so i, I was thinking a lot about him because i keep seeing commercials for the tournament you know but 
it's ending on the day of the eclipse. So the big, the, the final playoff game, the two, the final two teams and finding a winner will be on 4-8. And if you're from the future, it's 24, 2024. <laughs> and, uh, and most of you probably already know, they call that big tournament March Madness. I wish I had done March Madness, but I didn't. So maybe one of you guys could stop the video, do March Madness, and see what you come up with and put it in the comment. That would be really cool. But, okay, so think about it. March Madness ends on 4-8, which is quite funny because it's April, right? But, the you know, the big intense games are played during March, you know, where you've got 64 teams and a... Uh, one team could be a much higher team. A low team could beat a higher team, and it's a big deal, so it's kind of like madness. So, uh, anyway, I thought it was cool that March Madness ends on the date of the eclipse and the comet, and maybe the two suns, you know. Um, so I said key to escape the matrix, and it's key bridge. And Golden State Warriors, and that's Golden Gate Bridge. So Golden is in there. Do you believe in miracles? Yeah, that was what they said. Um, what was it? The was it the 1980 Olympics and the the Russian team? It was the sec not the final game hockey game, but it was the um, the play the game before the final playoff game, and the U.S. Olympic team, which was much smaller in stature, beat the Russian team. I think that was all an FF. I think it was all set up like that, like that it just was. I always, I was in college then and everybody was running around going USA, USA. And I was in a group doing the same thing and um, all running around the campus. And uh, I really think it was fake. I, I mean, I haven't worked on it, but I think it could have been. But that's where that term comes from. Do you believe in miracles? Um, let's see. And another, okay, here's another one that matches collapsed early Tuesday. It's John is in love with her. And that's who I look at as writing the article. It's John and Diana, like Princess Diana. Hi, Diana. <laughs> and uh, anyway, uh, so th that was cool. John is in love with her. Um, so, okay, now we're on to the dolly, D-A-L-I, the ship. Now, just switch the letters around, anagram, I guess, is what you'd really call it, to dial, okay? So, dial, like dial 911. That, I don't think that was an accident. So, dolly in Jewish gematria is 34, which is lie, like fake, and it equals flag, like the false things up on a flagpole, you know, um, and it's also in simple gematria 26 is flag again. So we have another one that's like a double, a double match and a flag, like a false thing on a flagpole. <laughs> and it doesn't necessarily, you know, it doesn't have to be the bad guys doing this. This, uh, the white hats can do them as well. Uh, Okay, and this was highlighted in the article. All vehicle traffic has been rerouted. And I was, that's, it's highlighted, you know? And I'm like, yeah, because that's what they did before it happened. They rerouted traffic, you know, the few that were out there. Uh, so I did all vehicle traffic because that's, um, in simple, it's 152. You are safe, you are safety code. Come back from the dead. Don't worry, let the games begin, has been rerouted. Oh, I'm sorry, that's the second part of the phrase, sorry. I mean, the sentence. So, let the games begin, and you are safe. Okay, so the second half is, has been rerouted, and it actually matches 152, simple, which is what I just read. So, it's kind of like a double, you know? It's like, you are safe, and don't worry, like times two, you know? Um, so then there was a quote in the in the article from the the Baltimore Sun from Priscilla Thompson. And the quote was, I really thought it was an earthquake. 
you know, me and earthquakes, we're getting ready for some kind of earthquake everywhere. Like maybe all the volcanoes go off and it's a fake and everything, or maybe we will feel it. I don't know. Um, I really thought it was an earthquake or something because it shook the house so bad, she said. It shook it. It really rattled. It really rattled it for four or five seconds. 45, President Trump. And then it got real quiet, she said. <laughs> she lives on the water in Dundalk. <laughs> Dundalk, okay. So Priscilla, remember who wrote the article, right? Kennedy, probably Diana, that's who I'm thinking. And if you're wondering how they can do all this, it's because they can be in tons of places at the same time. They can. And even, um, what's her name? Oh, she's very argumentative and I can't think of her name, but anyway. Carrie Cassidy, who's another character, said that, you know, her intel said that time travel, travel isn't what we think. And that what it is, it's like just everywhere. You can be just like everywhere. And that was a couple of weeks ago she said that. Okay, so anyway, Priscilla is uh, 292 in Jewish. It's Ring of Fire. And she just talked about, um, she thought it was an earthquake. And her name that they chose for her, because this is not a real person, matches Ring of Fire, which is the name for the uh, all the, the volcanoes that are all in a chain, you know, around the world. I can't remember exactly where, but Bali and all that kind of thing. And uh, that's called the Ring of Fire. But we'll also see a Ring of Fire on for the eclipse, because it'll be like the corona around, you know, the moon, you know, that's a whole other story. But the corona will show, and that's like a ring of fire. I always call that kind of thing a, a full eclipse. I, I call it a ring of fire eclipse. So they're, they're, they keep pointing us back towards the day of the eclipse in this article. Um, let's see. Sorry. Oh, her name, Priscilla equals laughing, tricks, um, and the event still pointing us towards what's coming up, I think. The eclipse comet scenario. So her last name, Thompson, is Silent Night. <laughs> well, because she just said, because she just said, you know, just a second ago, she said, and then it got real quiet. And if her name matches Silent Night, you know, that is just, that cracks me up. And of course it happened in the dark, you know, at late. It says it matches don't chase the D-E-A-D. -E I'll just spell it because there aren't any. And she lives in Dundalk or Dundalk. I don't know. And, and it equals makeup. Like somebody's calling somebody for makeup. You know, they're like, come on, let's get going. Makeup. You're getting ready for your, your acting job. It equals, her last name equals bridge closed. Bridge closed. <laughs> It equals timber and it equals silence. And as she just said, it got real quiet and she thought it was an earthquake. You know, this is hysterical. I hope you guys do some of this stuff. I mean, it happens everywhere. It happens in your neighborhood. It happens in your town. It, stuff is everywhere. I, there was a silly one that happened right nearby me. Uh, well, some old guy used to sit on a bench and he'd wear a yellow vest. I've seen him, you know, a very small town nearby. And he'd sit there and he'd look at the traffic going by and it's a busy intersection and everybody saw him and felt more comfortable that he was there. That was some of the quotes, you know, which was goofy. And um, supposedly he died. Well, I checked a couple of things out about it and it's like completely fake. That guy was an actor. He was an actor. He was probably paid by whoever, President Trump's group or whatever. I think these, I think a lot of these people that you think are one person, maybe, the, maybe it's even a parent at school and you know their kid and the kids have been growing up together. They could be a fake person. I think they're just embedded everywhere and they've been there a really long time. Okay, then we have Baltimore County. I missed a word here. Sorry. I don't know if it was executive, maybe. I can't, I'm not sure. 
But the name was, in this article, Johnny Os Osluski. They always pick these goofy names. Uh, anyway, it's, and it's a junior, Johnny and Junior, Osluski. So, <laughs> so we have a J and a J and a John and a Junior. And you do the whole name and it's 234 and it equals Kennedy three times. You know, just say Kennedy three times. And Ozluski sounds like Godluski, doesn't it? Phil Godluski. And I've already done a video about about him and uh, Diana and John take turns playing him. And I think Diana does it more often, but you know, I don't watch or listen to Phil enough to really know. I just go by with the few things that I've, you know, seen. Um, okay. And <laughs> his whole name, I'm still doing simple 234, equals a lot of people can't drive. Like, they were stopped at the bridge. This is so fun. Isn't it fun? Um, yeah, so, yeah, and the newspaper, yeah, I have a blurb here that said the newspapers wouldn't report if someone was stopped. I said that earlier, but that's so true. They're not going to say if somebody was rerouted. So, now they're saying that the key bridge was struck about 1.20 a.m. That was this morning. 1.20, just written out, 1.20, is um, she, it's a Jewish, it's 1640. These are so funny. She who treads on the sea. <laughs> and it says, love the spell of, sorry, love the smell of panic in the morning. Like, you know. Oh my gosh. Um, River of Lost Souls. Um, and then Simple 141 is reincarnation, like coming back, you know. Um, false prophet, you know, just meaning false. Quantum leap, like somebody's going to jump or something. That's the way. I mean, I just thought that was funny. Um, here's Johnny, just like, you know, Ed, Ed uh, McMahon would say for Johnny Carson. Uh, here's Johnny because he's involved in all this planning and took care of everyone matches like everyone's safe and it's funny because it also equals Mrs. Handy are you so I thought that was fun not that it's all about me you know but there you go you have the scoop on the um, Baltimore Bridge the key bridge and uh, I just thought that was a fun thing to do. Now, I'll do one little thing. I've got so many odd little things. I'll just throw this in. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I'll well, I'll just show you this. I'm not going to show you the article or anything because that would take too long. But this is one of my New Hampshire magazines. You know, I live here. And it says right here, right, right here. Oh, maybe I don't know if I held it long enough here to say... Do you see what it says in yellow? The next industrial revolution. The Manchester Mill Yard is becoming a global hotspot for making human tissue and organs. And there's always been a story that over in the Manchester Mills where, you know, a lot of businesses have gone in and, uh, you know, redeveloped the empty mill buildings on, on the river, the big brick buildings. Uh, yeah, it's a global hotspot for making human tissue and organs. It was supposed to be, that's where they were cloning, and that's where they were, grow, you know, for tissue and organs and stuff. And that's what has always been the story about the mill yard. So I think the truth is just right there. I think somebody, one of the good guys is writing that. And you'll look back on it and go, they were telling us. Because God has to tell you, uh, Juan said this, God has to tell you just as much as, the other side has to tell you. So it's not always a bad thing when you read this stuff. It could be, uh, the, it's usually at this point, the good guy's telling you um, what's up. So I thought that was cool. And, oh, and then, then one last little thing with Phil, Phil Godlewski. And uh, let's see, Phil said to look up this tax code. Now that was a Maybe it was a week ago. I don't remember. And he said 601602. 
So he was having a discussion about taxes, I'm assuming, but Lisa asked me, Lisa D, asked me to um, check into that. And Juan had said before, in, in the past, that you can drop the zeros in Gematria, Gematria, whatever you want to call it. I don't always, but, you know, I thought I'd try it that way. So if you drop the zeros, it's, you're left with 6162. So if you put that in the database, it equals... I'm wishing you didn't lie, because remember he's somebody else, um, what the real president is thinking. And I think that Princess Diana is the second president, and she stands in for President Trump constantly, constantly. Um, and it's all because of what, what that President Trump says that leads you to know it's Diana if you work on the coding, you know, so you can tell who's who and who. Who's standing up there at a rally? Um, what the real president is thinking. The real president thinking about this tax code. That's kind of what the way I looked at that, because that's who Phil is when he was saying this. Um, like I said, I've got a video on that, and it's all by the numbers. It's not just like I'm guessing or something. It's all from coding. So let's see. So second president. Um, <laughs> it equals how the PSYOP is going, because what he's doing is kind of a PSYOP, you know. A lot of these people are doing that. Um, and I think it's making it really fun. He's always saying, you know, you don't know who I am and you won't believe it and things like that. And that's because most people probably wouldn't believe it. And it equals androgynous godwife. Very feminine term there. And androgynous, kind of like both, you know because he's, he's a he on the video. And uh, what else matches this, this number, 6162? Um, JC, like Jesus Christ, female warrior angel. And I think they're all God's angels, all that. And that's why they could do all these things. I think we're supposed to be able to do all these things too. Be in many places at once, do all these wonderful things, who needs a calculator at that point? You know, I mean, we're supposed to be right there. So we will. We'll get there. Um, my twin is tough. And you know, I'm always saying that Jackie Kennedy and Diana, Lady Diana, are twins. Hi, Jackie. And let's see. Uh, oh, <laughs> another good one is God's human body matches that number. And have DNA activation code. And I think after that beast event where everybody gets chewed up and spit out and everything, and they come back to life, like Revelation 11 and all that, that the four, not two, but the four witnesses will, because, I don't know, I think our DNA will just be better. You know, how the, half our DNA isn't working. Um, I think after that, because if, if Jesus didn't die on the cross, right, like I say all the time, then, you know, you, your sins weren't replaced and you're still under the law, right? You're not under grace, you're under the law. So once all that happens and there's the substitution, you know, like dying for us then and coming back to life and all that, then, then maybe that's how our DNA gets activated. So... Uh, let's see. It equals my God, Jesus Christ, Mary Magdalene. Can't be any more obvious than that. Me suffering the pain. And that's like what I was just saying about the beast episode. Um, and I still think it's in water, but now I'm, I mean, I do, but I don't. I, I've got kind of some second thoughts. So then I did, um, what did I do? Oh, and simple, sorry, 6162. And it equals anointed God, Messiah, sold your soul to the devil in the Garden of Eden, right? That's what happened because in the Garden of Eden, if you follow Satan, you didn't just like follow him to walk with him. You followed him and did what he wanted you to do. And that was to sacrifice, you know, little things, little things. You know, little, I won't say it, and likely um, their own little 
you know. So they really screwed up, but they were also, I, I don't know if you want to say hoodwinked or li well, lied to and all that stuff. So they were lied to. And I've forgiven them. They know that. I hope you guys will forgive them. You know, put it in your heart to forgive. Um, let's see. A lifting of her curse matches 6162. So, like I said, you know, I think that's when everything changes. So then I looked at the, you know, I left the zeros in of the tax code. You know, I know he didn't mean literally the, to the tax code because he speaks in Gematria, you know, um, and he's been talking about it lately. So it's out in the open. I've known for a long time he does that or she does that, but now it's out in the open that, yeah, I'm doing that. And he's been telling people, you know, I can do it really fast in my head and I can do this and that. No, I'm not saying me, but he says that. Phil, Phil Godlewski says that. Um, so I did it with um, like 60 and then 16 and 2. So I looked at it that way. And it equals the SIMS, like simulation, this SIMS, a simulation within a simulation. Like this person is being a simulation. And it equals Santa Surfing Beach Broadcast. And I haven't done a lot of coding on Santa Surfing, but this pops up all the time when I'm working on Diana things. So I think she's Santa Surfing too. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Hidden in plain sight message. This is so obvious, you know, that he's telling you to look this stuff up. And it equals, she has a scar on her right hand. And if you remember back uh, quite a while ago, um, when Juan, Juan Osaven was, it was a long time ago, really, went on um, Roseanne on her show and either had a rubber glove thing on to cover the hands that had this mark on it, or maybe it was the real hands. You know, I'm not, I'm not sure. I don't remember how big the hands were. Because it was Diana, it wasn't Juan, and I'm pretty sure it was her. And there was a V, like, on the back of the hand, a V, like a scar. It, and it could have been makeup, right? But there, there was a V. So we hadn't seen Juan. I think maybe, well, maybe at that point we'd only seen his pointy boots, his cowboy boots, but... At that point, all of a sudden you saw um, the hand and everybody was so excited that you could see Juan's hand. And um, yeah, so you saw the, the hand. Then he went on an, again and the next time on with uh, Roseanne. Now, if you're using your phone or something, you always use the same hand, right? I mean, that, at least I do. And he was, he was holding it and in the other hand, at least that's how I'm remembering it. I could be remembering wrong, but all I know is I was watching like a hawk and you saw the other hand. Maybe it wasn't the phone, but anyway, I saw a V on the other hand. So another V. I mean, it could have been Vincent. It could have been victory. It could have been vengeance. It could have been all kinds of, you know, uh, Vincent Fusca. It could have meant all kinds of things. Victory. But anyway, that's when we first saw any hands. Now he uses hands a lot, but you don't see anything. So either that was real hands with a scar, or it was the rubbery gloves that I always say that Juan wears, you know, right up here to look like, you know, a guy. Um, and the legs are all, you know, I can't imagine doing this all the time. But anyway, that's what, that's what she's doing. And I think, and Jackie has played one, I think, I'm pretty sure, but it seems to be almost always Diana. So, um, anyway, I'm getting off topic. Let's see. Yeah, I guess that was about, that was about it anyway. So that, that's good. That's good. Oh, and I wanted to thank Vanessa for this beautiful card that she sent me. Like, look, isn't that pretty? Look at that scripty red writing. It's really nice. I love your note, Vanessa. 
Thank you. Thank you so much for everything. I appreciate it. So, anyway. So, I love you guys. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And just know everything's going to be all right. Okay? Love you. <laughs> Bye.